Hey guys, Justin with Wild We Wander. Last year, Ariel and I converted our Ford F-250 Super Duty work truck into a functional living space. We DIY'd it into a truck camper, and we haven't given a tour of it yet, so we wanted to show you what the inside looks like. So to start off, we have this ARE DCU truck cap, which is a utility truck cap, and it's really the perfect shell for this type of project. The thing we love about it most is that we have this side access door, which really serves as a window, and you'll notice right away that we have this screen that is Velcroed in, so it's like a rip-away screen. So it allows us to hang back here uh, and have fresh air and light without any bugs getting in in sort of an enclosed space. Now to get inside, you would open this back window, and you take down the tailgate, and right away you'll see this serape, uh, which is a Mexican blanket that we used for curtains, and we even created a ceiling cover out of it. We didn't sew anything, I just cut it and I was able to glue the edges to make the project a little bit easier. Now starting off inside, we'll have this bed rug, which we put down, outlined the entire truck bed. It's 3 4 inch polyurethane foam. It makes it really comfortable to be back here, as opposed to just having the like rugged steel bed of a truck. Over here we have a storage area where we can keep all of our different items from maybe like a hammock or some tie downs. Can't have enough tie downs when you're traveling. Uh, we even have a bladder that holds our, uh, I think it's like 100 gallons. So if we're out somewhere and we need extra water, we can always fill this up. But the big thing is, is that we have a storage area that keeps all of our items nice and tidy. In the back, we have these cushions. It's a really comfortable space to hang out in. You can work back here. Uh, the thing that's nice about it is that these cushions fold down into the exact dimensions of about a single or double bed. So you could sleep with here or back here with about one to two people pretty comfortably. And the nice thing is, is that the storage area is the exact dimension of what these cushions are. So when they're down, they're not moving around. It's not like uh, if you've ever slept on an air mattress and the air gets out, you're sort of hammocked in the middle of the night. Nothing's worse than having something like that happen. So it's really important to make sure that you have something where your cushions are just moving around. Then during the day, you can easily just put it back into its couch form. And then right here, you'll see this wood wall. This is really nice. Uh, it was just a, a steel, or sorry, it's a, it's a metal box. And behind it is all this storage. So if you want to go out for four days, or if you want to use it as a storage unit, you can really fill up all your supplies in here and not have uh, the back area be all messy. Coming out, we have this undercover swing case, which is really nice. So it just swings right underneath the, underneath the wheel well. Usually this area is lost for storage, so something like this allows you to extend that storage space. So coming around to the side, when I'm working from the road, I need a quiet place to work. I need like a home office. So what I do is, is I sit right in the back. I have my backpack back here. And then I have my laptop, which fits right in the center console. It's a really nice place to work because the, it's really spacious. I can open the windows and I don't feel very jammed or cluttered. Another thing that's really nice is if I need some extra power, I can just use this inverter charger and plug it into the 12 volt outlet and take some from the battery. You don't want to do it too much uh, if the car's not running because you don't want to kill your battery, obviously. Uh, but it's, it's a nice place to work from. And this project wasn't a very difficult project. I'm not a very handy person. And this was me just trying to go through and figure out what everything looks like. Uh, so if you're somebody who wants to make sense of your truck for either a truck camper or whether it's something that you're, you have a uh, tow vehicle for your camper that you're pulling, this is a way you can extend your space. And if you want to learn how to do each project, check out our guide and do step-by-step -step all the different instructions. If you have any questions, just let us know. Thanks so much.